happy Friday. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. Thank you so much for being here. If you are coming from the Balenciaga Thigh High Michelle Obama boot and you're coming to see how to finish them, welcome. Today's the day. I'm stoked. On today's video, you're gonna learn how you can cover any old boot that you have with any old fabric that you have. It's gonna be completely custom. And I love the fact that this is a two for one because now not only do I have really cool ankle boots that look adorable with jeans and a white t-shirt, so cool, but they are something that can be converted into a real like show-stopping statement piece. Only thing that I do wanna say here is your boot. I really recommend getting a boot with a zipper. And that's because when we add the glue to this, it may prevent some of the stretch from being fully stretchy because we're gonna be adhering the glue on the top and down some of the sides. So if you can get a boot that has a zipper, it means that it doesn't matter whether it stretches or not because you can get in and out of it. If you do not have a boot that has a zipper, then you're gonna wanna hand sew the top part so that you don't restrict um, any of the stretch that's necessary. Other than that, any boot, any fabric, let's do the damn thing. Materials. <laughs> So start off by putting your boot directly on a piece of like large crafting paper and we're gonna trace it out. You wanna go on the outside of your boot like at least an inch. When you get to the sole though, do not give yourself any seam allowance. Run your pen as sort of tightly against the sole as you possibly can. Now when you get back out to the front, again, you wanna give yourself an inch. If you sort of smush and flatten your boot, it's gonna get wider and you're gonna get a more accurate fit because obviously it's rounded on your foot. So you kinda need to flatten it as much as you can. But about an inch excess, is gonna make this fit much better. Trust me, I tried. So cut it out and you can see, I basically have a half a pattern for my boot, designed specifically for my boot. But I need a mirror image because obviously it's a full boot. So what I did is took the paper and taped it down and traced it out. Now, right at your heel, stop, take the pattern, lift it up and mirror image it, so flip it and connect the heel and lay it back down. Now we're going to trace the other side of it, which is basically gonna give us a full mirror image of the boot that's gonna be able to wrap around our boot. So it's connected at the heel, um, the heel of the boot and actually the heel of your foot. Now just cut that out and wrap it around your boot to see how it fits. Mine was pretty good, but I did realize the heel there felt like a little big. It was gonna be way much, way bigger than I needed. So I took off the pattern, folded it in half and just sort of shaved off a little space on the heel so that it fit a little bit better. And you can see there, it's much more accurate. So now that you know the pattern works, you wanna make an opening for your zipper here because obviously if you leave it closed, you can't get in and out. So just take a pen and feel for the zipper, make a little line at the top and a little line at the bottom and just use a ruler to connect those two lines. Now I'm going to cut that open, which is gonna create two separate pattern pieces which allows me to get in and out of my boot with that zipper. All right, so here is the pattern. Now at this point, this is when I would recommend doing a similar thing as we did to the thigh high boot, and that is cut this out of a similar stretch fabric that's really cheap fabric, just to wrap around your boot and really make sure that the fit is right. My pattern has already been tested, so I know that this works. If you need adjustments, make those adjustments on the pattern before you cut in your actual sequin fabric. But mine was good to go, so I'm gonna cut. Now, you always wanna cut out on the inside, so flip your fabric inside out, and we're just gonna trace it. But guys, when you do one boot, make sure, make sure that you flip your pattern over to do the other boot, because obviously there's a right and a left, and we only made one pattern. So once you've traced one out, make sure to remember, mirror it, flip it upside down, down to do the right boot versus the left boot. Now I need to create that little overlap that covers my zipper and right now it's a perfect seam. So I need to give myself about a half an inch. So I just took a zipper, went about a half an inch out and drew a straight line down, kind of just extending out the pattern just a teeny bit for that overlap. So now I'm gonna cut it out. I really recommend using a rotary cutter if you have it. It just cuts the most beautiful, clean, crisp lines. You don't get any of those little juts that you can sometimes get with scissors. So if you have a rotary cutter, I really recommend it. If you don't, this is something you're gonna wanna buy. It's just super helpful. 
Okay, so now I'm just opening, uh, making my whole pattern and you can see there is the boot. Now what I need to do is create that center front seam. You're gonna see the seam there on my leather boot. It already exists, but I'm creating it now on my sequin fabric. So just lay your fabric right sides together, pin them to create your center front seam, and then just sew it closed. If you've got clear thread, that is what I recommend for this project. Um, I just think it always works really well with sequins and it also has a stretch to it, which is really nice. I sewed up the front and I also sewed up that little ankle part in the back there you can see. So now just lay it on and kind of just see how this fits. You just want to visualize it and make sure that it all seems right. So at this point, once we've got the, the whole pattern is done, stretch it over your boot. Make sure that you don't need to take anything in because at this point you can still take it in. If it's all good, let's trim all the excess as tight to your seam allowance as possible. So get a really, really tight seam allowance. Make sure you use a very small stitch once you know it's good and then uh, trim off all that excess. I am using quick grip glue and you guys, I cannot recommend it enough for this project. Not only is it crazy strong, like way strong, works just like E6000, but it sets up a lot faster. So you can move on to the next phase of your project a lot faster. It's gonna start to get tacky where it holds everything in place, really within like 45 seconds, but it's still malleable enough that you can still fine tune and finesse everything. So I'm starting with that center front seam, not only on my boot, but obviously also on my fabric there and just sort of fold it back at constantly making sure that you are on the right line, that the seam of your sequin fabric is lining up with the seam of your boot. And you can see there really quickly, it already starts to set up, but I still have time to kind of finagle it and smush it and fine tune it with my fingers. You'll be doing this for the whole boot. So it's really nice how fast it kind of starts to, to set up. Cause look, now I can move on to the next one. Now I added glue to the sole of my boot and this is something that is super important. I, if I could do it all over again, I would change something here. What I did is you can see, I sort of pushed the fabric down below the sole of the shoe and then ended up trimming it. But I've got a perfectly clean line because I used the rotary cutter. So what would have made a lot more sense is to line up the edge of my fabric and pull the excess up towards my ankle instead of pushing it down and needing to trim it. So now we're moving on to the zipper portion. You wanna open up the zipper and we're gonna be applying glue right to the edge. It's super important that you don't get any glue in your zipper, so obviously double check that. Let's go with the little back seam. Obviously, I'm gonna put the glue on my boot, line up the back seam I created on my pattern, just line it up just right, fold it over, and just with your fingers, hold it into place again for like that 30 or 40 seconds until it feels like it's good. If you need to make any adjustments, you still have a little bit of time to do that. All right, so here's the zipper part. Add your glue, not only to the zipper, but across the bottom. Lay it down nice and even. This is not our overlap part. This part should line up exactly right. This front piece is what is gonna overlap. So you're gonna wanna pull it. See how I kinda create that little overlap? That's what's gonna hide our zipper. So take your quick grip, apply it to the bottom of your sole, and then all the way along the top of the zipper and lay it down. Double check, you guys, it's super important, double check that no glue has oozed out and gotten on your zipper or you won't be able to get in and out of it if you ruin the zipper. So just push it down again. If I could do it all over again, I would line up that edge on the bottom perfectly and extend it, stretch it towards the top so that I didn't have to do any trimming. But you know, you learn. I'm just double checking that I got no glue in there, making sure that it's nice and even and flattening it all out. All right, we are almost done here. It's time to move on to the heel. Now, I decided to wrap my whole heel in the sequin fabric. If you don't wanna do that and you don't want any on the sole and the bottom, then you would just cut your fabric at this point. But I decided to sort of like wrap it and smush it and then just cut off the excess in the heel. So my whole heel from front to back is wrapped in the sequin fabric. All right. We are pretty good. It's just time to trim all of your edges now. If you have small scissors, um, like really precise small scissors, this is definitely what you're gonna wanna use for this. Bigger fabric scissors are gonna be hard to do. Okay, so here is the trimming. I'm able to get a really nice clean trim because I'm using those scissors. But again, if you just lined up the edge of your fabric with the edge of the sole of your boot, you could skip this whole process and it would all fit perfectly and be a nice clean line that you got with the rotary. But I'm just going in, if you notice anywhere doesn't seem fully, fully tacked down, add a teeny bit of quick grip just to make sure that everything is in its place. Again, I'm just shaving it off to make it as perfect as I possibly can. 
I was happy with the end result, um, so it all worked out, but if I could do it all over again, I learned. If you have any excess glue, get in there with an X-Acto knife. You can kind of cut a clean line and you'll be able to just sort of like peel off any glue that you see on the sole. Now I'm cutting the top. I gave myself only about a quarter of an inch excess because it's stretchy. I knew that I'd be able to sort of stretch it up and pull it down. So what I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of glue right to the top there. You can see pulling the fabric up and then kind of smooshing it down into the interior of my, uh, of my boot there. So just keep moving along. You can see there, you kind of slide up and smush down. Now, the last thing that I was doing here is just kind of covering up any bald spots. There were some spaces that lost a few sequins just from having the fabric either stretch tight or from sewing it. So I saved all the sequins from when I cut out my pattern. A ton of sequins fall off. So I put them all in a bowl and I just sort of sprinkled them on so I could cover up any bald spots where you could see like the nylon backing. Um, it just makes sure that it's all looking really, really perfect. And then the last thing that I did, which I really recommend, is I just took some soft elastic. I wrapped it around the inside which not only gives a nice clean finished look from the inside, but it feels really soft on your ankle so you don't feel those sequins at all. Yes, they're done. They're done and I'm in love with them. I'm really, really stoked. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how they look just as ankle boots on their own, but you are also going to see that full on thigh high extension, which is what this whole project was inspired by. If you are just watching this video and this is the first one you're seeing, then at the end of the video, there'll be a link to create the thigh high extension so you can get a two for one out of yours. If you guys like the video, I hope you subscribe. Let's take a look at these bad boys in action. Stepping into the club now. I know you notice me. Wanna be your man First prize, although you she Let's turn the lights up Turn it out, turn it out You and me like a face up